Good morning everyone, it's Elka here and I just wanted to welcome you to some morning Pilates with the Bride and Barbs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start lying down and we're going to give ourselves a big cuddle. So come on down onto our mats and controlling that spine as we come down and hugging those knees in nice and tight. We're just going to lift the tailbone on our breath in and relax down. So breathe in and out. Couple more. That's so nice on the lower back. I'm gonna ask you to release the left leg nice and long onto the ground. Just ensuring the pubic bone and the hip bone are in the same alignment and we'll give ourselves a squeeze here. Just relaxing the neck, the back and the shoulders. and swapping legs. What we want to think about while we're doing this gentle stretching is how we're breathing. So we're going to breathe in through the back of the throat down into the bottom and the back of those lungs. Tummy pulls in as we breathe in and as we breathe out that belly pulls in even more against the spine. We release down everybody to do some gentle roll-ups this is called imprinting of the spine so setting those shoulders down and back the chest is high breathing down to the bottom of the back of the lungs and as we breathe out we lift the pelvic floor it's that feeling of needing to use the bathroom there's not one around and we gently articulate up through the spine and slowly come down upper back middle back lower back and find neutral. Neutral where is where the pubic bone and the hip bone are in the same alignment. So we do that again. We'll do three more. Tuck that tailbone under. One vertebra at a time, way up high. And envisage some orange paint on your vertebra and you're just imprinting one piece of the spine at a time. Oh, this is so nice. Let's do this two more times. Tuck that tailbone under, one vertebra at a time. Now there will be sticky parts of the spine and my recommendation is to be kind to the body that you have, yeah? Try not to go too quickly. We want to find that mobility in that spine and there we'll find stability in our posture. Beautiful. Hug those knees in one more time. I'll ask you to lift the chest up high as we squeeze the shoulder blades and release. And we squeeze up high. Try not to poke the chin out too much. How we get higher is we squeeze those shoulder blades more and that chest will elevate towards the heavens. Lucky last hold. Just ask you to stretch your left leg out one more time. I'm going to just lift and lower the leg. We'll just create some mobile, um, some mobilization through that front hip. Get some blood flowing to that area. And other side, hug that knee in tight. Ensuring those hips are in a nice stable posture. Don't lift one hip higher than the other. We we'll lift and lower, stretching out that hamstring. Envisage an orange between your chin and your chest. Try not to poke that chin out, it will hurt. Lucky last, and down again. Okay, we love hundreds, yes? So let's rock and roll. Breathe in, lift the legs up high, relaxing the crease of the hips, everybody. You wanna use the hamstrings, the lower tummy and the lower back to keep your legs suspended. So we breathe in, we lift the chest, towards the skies, fingertips facing heaven. And as we breathe out, we reach nice and long. So the breath is in, through the nose, and out. In, and out. There are 10 of these guys. And out. In, and out. Six more, oh dear. 
Now, if the neck is getting tight, take it from side to side. And if it's still annoying you, I need you to put your head down and just be happy. Yes. Um, for those of us that can and have done hundreds before, there's that nice long leg, but there's got to be a scoop of that belly. There's two more. We breathe in and out. Oh, the tummy's burning. I think I'll bring my legs in. <laughs> Last breath out, all the way out. And release, really nice. Everybody just give ourselves a really nice stretch on our mat. And we're just gonna do some overhead arms to create some stability in the, in the upper body. So let's bring those arms back down again. I'm gonna just reach the arms up over the head really draw the rib cage down and we'll circle the arms around uh, the safest angle that our lovely arms can be in is a 30 degree angle so don't take the arms out too low it may impinge the shoulder girdle while we keep doing our arm circles everyone i need you to slide your legs in and lift our legs up back to our 90 90 position and we'll do four more, but we'll reach the arms and lift the chest and bring it in. Let's stretch the other leg nice and long, lift the chest and bring it in. I did say two more, didn't I? Deep stretch, lift, lengthen and scoop the belly. Remember, don't poke that chin out. Scoop that belly and I've got some fun for you. Another set of hundreds. Let's go. Breathe in and out. In and out. We keep going with our breath. Like I said, for those of us that can, we can stretch our legs out nice and long. And for those of us that know my classes, let's turn the legs out and open them six to eight inches. That's two fist widths apart and reach those legs nice and long and what you'll feel are our obliques yes but like i said if life isn't so much fun right now regress the exercise and you can even do your your hundreds with your feet on the mat and that's really cool really cool too two more breaths the whole point of this exercise is to keep an isometric contraction into the tummy so we learn to stay strong. And that was our last breath out. Oh, reach those legs and arms away from the midline and take the arms out to the side for a moment. 30 degrees, as I was saying, is a safe angle. Palms facing down, everyone. But for those of us that have a tendency to roll the shoulders forward, palms facing up. So here we are on our backs. We're just gonna do a little bit of rotation. Um, what tends to happen is the facet joints in the middle of the spine get tight when we find ourselves sitting for too long. So we bring those legs back up to 90 and we'll get some, some, um, some uh, juice firing through those middle spinal facets, yes? So we breathe in, we rotate just the lower spine. Yes, it happens through the midline and back to center. Try not to displace the hips. We breathe in and breathe out. Now, I'm gonna let you know that it really doesn't matter how far you go, but what does matter is that you keep your hips, your, your lower legs is one block, yes? You don't want to bring one hip forward or bring one hip back just find that area that you can control and our shoulder blades stay down on the mat they don't lift yes we're going to make this a little harder for those of us that can and as we rotate we extend and lengthen that top leg bring it back to center and then we bend so breathe in nice and low and deep and as we breathe out, we'll stabilize that spine and come back to center. So everyone, here's the third progression. We extend, extend the legs, keep the shoulder down, long through the spine, and we bend. 
So breathe in, extend, extend nice and long, and we bend. One more each side, everyone, and I will show you the regression of the exercise. You can do this on the floor. Make it harder, legs are longer. Make it easier, legs are on the floor. And then we have a little rest. I'm gonna ask you to just give yourself a little squeeze. And the transition is to tuck and roll and sit, yes? Yeah? So breathe in, reach the, the arm that you're rolling towards, up and over, and we sit up nice and tall. And we'll find our legs nice and crossed right now. Wonderful. So what am I gonna say? I would love to work on getting some hips mobile and a little bit more rotation because it's stuff that we don't normally do at home. So I'm going to ask you to keep your left leg long and bring your right leg to the back and it's a nice stag position here everybody. And what we want to find, and my hips are a bit tight this morning and what I'm finding is I can't get my sitting bones on the mat this morning. Um, I went for a jog yesterday so that's what's happened there. But we try to keep those hips nice and stable. We take those arms forward and out to the midline and we release the same arm as front leg down. So that's your left arm. We breathe in, we reach up and over. It's a nice big mermaid stretch. And then we find the center, both arms up to second. Breathe in nice and low and deep. Use the other hand for support. Now you can look up towards your thumb if you don't have a neck condition. But for those of us that have a, a neck or shoulder issue, just keep your head down and that'll just stretch out the front of the neck a little bit more. Lucky last, reach up and over, big stretch. Paint a big rainbow up into that sky and find centre. I'm going to ask you to take your hand, same arm as back leg. I'm going to rotate, open the hip, and we're going to close that hip nice and tight. Open through the hip, and nice and tight. So breathe in through the back and the sides of the lungs, and breathe out, and in, and out. Really nice. And ask you to extend the leg that's behind you so that's your right leg nice and long sitting evenly now you don't need to have your leg out here just make sure you're nice and stable through the torso um, and just ensure that that knee's feeling nice and relaxed you might need to prop a pillow up here if there's too much knee um, you know it's too tight on your kneecaps but we're going to reach the other way so reach up and over big stretch side stretch it's a lateral stretch and come back to center. Reach up and over. And find the center. Uh, for those of us whose neck and shoulders get a bit tight, you can reach the arm the opposite direction so you've got a lovely neck. Lucky last everyone. Big stretch up and over. And find the center. Really nice everyone. So we've done that on one side. Uh, we are going to work this side now, so come lie down on your side. Now, prop a little pillow up for yourself if you fancy, or reach the arm nice and long. But what I need from you is to stack the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, the knees and toes. I'm going to flex both feet, everyone. I'm just going to lift, and we're going to lower the lovely leg, yes? So this morning we stretch and mobilize the body, put a bit of fl blood flow into our bodies and get some stability into the bodies. And then we strengthen the body. And here we are strengthening. Lucky last everyone. I'm gonna ask you to bend the knee inside of the big toe knuckle up against the inside of the knee. And we use those deep external rotators to open external rotation now for those of us that are feeling uncomfortable in our necks like i said prop up a little pillow try to keep the eye line on the horizon 
the tendency here is to try to recruit more muscles and we start tucking our chin in and then our neck gets a bit tight. So let's try really hard to keep that eye line maybe two centimeters above your horizon. One more and we hold. Now with Pilates, we're working on the posterior chain. So we work on our back, we work on our bottoms, our hamstrings and all the way down the back of the leg. So when we extend through that knee, we extend through the bottom and the hamstrings and then we lower. The leg is turned out now. So we lift and lower, single leg kick. Now, I'm not sure if you can see under here, but I've got space. <laughs> yeah, I've got space between me and the mat. I'd like you to have some space between the mat. Uh, technically, you're balancing on that shoulder and the side of your hip. We're working on stabilization in a side lying position here. Two more, big stretch. Wherever you are is perfect, yes. And now we're gonna go into a plank. Now for those of us that are a little hesitant, you need to do this on your knees, but your shoulders are over the, the elbow and it's shoulder width apart. Shoulder blades are flat and, and drawing down to your bottom. One leg lifts, knee off the mat, stabilize through the glutes and we hold our plank. Where's our breath everyone? Now, for those of us that are starting to struggle, I need you to breathe in 20% and then breathe out deeply, 80%. Try not to recruit the front of the neck when we breathe and try not to kiss the mat. It doesn't taste very nice. Keep your head up. So the, the heels are directly over the ball of the foot. There's one long line from your the crown of the head to your heels, one long line. Squeeze the bottom, lift that tummy up against, against uh, your spine and keep your chest open. We're here for four more breaths, everyone. Like I said to you, you're most welcome to be in a half plank. And even if, that, if that's too tight, just bring your knees in a little more and we can be in, it's sort of a tabletop position but wherever you are is perfect. And that was our last breath, everybody. I'm gonna ask you to push back, take your arms out nice and wide by your chest. Pull the belly in as we transfer the weight from the hands to the heels. And wow, we get a lovely stretch here. Beautiful, and we roll on up. Guess what time it is? The other side is our transition. Sitting bones, nice and even. That's your right leg now, yes? Left leg's here. Make sure that if your knees are feeling the pain, put the pillow under there. Now reach the arms out, and we paint that rainbow up into the sky. Try not to collapse the right side body as you go over, and find centre. Shoulders away from the ears, shoulders stay down as the arms come up. Oh, what a lovely stretch. How lucky are we? Big stretch up and over. Just being thoughtful, everybody. That is another, um, another time where we can reflect, drawing our attention inwards, getting ourselves nice and strong and fit while we have to be patient. Lifting, lengthening, scooping that belly, finding that center. Pilates is so fantastic. You can do Pilates anywhere, just as long as you've got space to put yourself on the floor. And you know, it, um, it, uh, the aches and pains sort of disappear through the winter when we find our stretch, yes? So, extending that leg nice and long. Now rotation happens at the hips, everyone. So just make sure that the pelvis is neutral, pubic bone, hip bone in the same alignment, and just put your leg wherever it feels comfortable. Sitting on those sitting bones, yes? So taking the arms out, and we're gonna do a side stretch, lateral stretch, up and over. Don't collapse that left side body, everybody. <laughs> body, everybody. <laughs> Big stretch, up and over. 
Now, like I said, for those of us whose neck and shoulders are tight, we can reach the opposite arm up and over towards the other side and we'll feel that nice um, lateral stretch, two sides pulling away from each other. And that was our last one. Time to strengthen everyone, so we lie down. Now one side might be longer or stronger than the other. Try really hard to pull the leg out of the socket of the leg that's shorter. And we find that we try anyway, yes? Long line, one long line from the fingers down to the feet. Like I said, if your neck is too, too tight right now, put a pillow there, it will feel good. This other hand's just here for support. But technically, your shoulders are stacked one on top of each other. The ribs are stacked one on top of each other. The hips, knees, and feet are stacked, yes? And remember there's space for a little car to go underneath you, like a little matchbox car. Okay, what are we gonna do? Abduction, lift and lower. Do you remember what I said about the eye line? Keep the eye line two centimeters above your horizon. That would just bring your chin up and just relax the neck back, right? We spend a lot of time looking down at computers, at our food on our tables, on our iPads and phones, and our eye line tends to drop as uh, we, our neck gets tight. So try to keep it up a little higher than it is, and what you'll find is the front of the neck getting in a nice arm um, stretch. That was our last one. We bend our knee, everybody. The big toe knuckle up against the inside of the kneecap, and we use the deep external rotators of the, the hip socket. There's heaps of them. There we go. I just noticed um, it's quite fresh outside. And um, when I'm talking, there's um, some beautiful um, like warmth coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I feel like a fire breathing dragon. Oh my goodness. I'm not cold though. I'm nice and warm as I'm doing Pilates. Lucky last and hold. Now, do you remember we extend through the back the posterior chain, so back, bottom, hamstrings, yeah, nice and long, two long legs, and then we pull it in. Adduction, yes, pull it in. That's it. I don't know if you know, but that bottom leg of mine is off the ground. <laughs> I'm not sure if yours is asleep on the ground, but we try to lift that leg up off the ground, and we use, yeah, try not to drop that belly as the leg lifts. We wanna put that pressure into the stomach. There's two more, my loves. We're almost there. I know. <laughs> Lucky last. And then we bring it down, yeah? Very nice, everyone. Transition, yeah? Top arm, bring it around and grab a seat. That was really lovely. I can I ask you to just give yourself a big old cuddle? Give yourself a hug. We can't touch anyone at the moment so guess what give ourselves a hug and give us ourselves a bit of love yeah and some shoulder rolls relax the neck and shoulders oh I love this one this one's a good one hands up big stretch of the neck and shoulders and out oh, big old hug the other way make sure it's not the same way it's just uh, working on those shoulders now, while I'm here, I'm pulling my belly nice and tight and I am, what am I doing? Sitting up nice and tall. So try not to slouch, it's not good for you. Big stretch, big scoop, upper back, neck and shoulders. Stretch them up towards the sky, so good for you. And we'll release back down again, really nice, yes? What are we going to do now? Four point kneel. Okay, so you know what? Four point kneel next time. <laughs> um, what I'll say is thank you so much for the love and the time that you invested in on your bodies. And I'm so happy and grateful that I get to spend some time with you while we are in lockdown. And I know I'm gonna see you guys at the gym really soon. So um, bye for now.